We're live! Hello everyone, welcome to Day 9 TV, where I am Day 9, and we are going to be playing games from the USC Games Expo. Now, if you've been watching on my channel, or on the USC Games channel, I'm going to do a little repetition. This is the end of year game showcase, where typically what happens is you have designers, artists, writers, who've been making a whole bunch of games in the USC Games program across the year. I will shamelessly note that the USC Games program is number one ranked by the Princeton Review. Ah, uh, easy. Always feels good to bring up. All these students are working on these various projects across the school year. Sometimes there's semester-long games, sometimes just a few weeks, and at the end of the year there's typically this in-person live demo showcase with little booths set up. Can't do it this year, obviously, with all the various forms of lockdown, so we're doing this wonderful online broadcast, and by we, it's really USC. Thank you, USC. Much love to all of you. By the way, they're hashtag sponsoring this stream, uh, and I, I sort of have a little bit of bias here because I went to the, I went to this program. I went to the USC Interactive Media Division. I have a degree from this place, and look how well I turned out. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing through four games from the USC Games Expo. I have sort of cleverly placed this entire website behind me to encourage you to go to it. It's uscgamesexpo.com, though I am doing just four games on air today. There are a huge number of games here. You can click on all of these. These are not images for show. They actually lead to more information and links, so you can play these games. And it's always such a treat. It's such a treat to just see the sheer creativity of what the USC students have been coming up with. <clears throat> In fact, Day 9 TV, believe it or not, was my end of year uh, USC Expo Showcase project. It was my MFA thesis. Um, so as we're going through these games, we're going to look at some trailers, going to play some games, and because I went to USC, I would be happy to answer any of your questions. And do note, I have bias. I think the USC Games Division is the best. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be hopping into a game. Let's transition over to here, so that way we can get a little bit more of my face. We're going to transition to a trailer for a game called Sadie's Tale. It'll be the first game that we play today. Boink, and... Where's the audio? Oh no! Become loud! Oh no, it's right here. Okay. Excellent. You can hear it. I have my volume turned down. I don't know how computers work. Comes a story about unconditional love, which is the love I have for you and for the USC Games program. Here's Sadie. Sadie's Tale, coming soon. And guess how soon? Literally right now. You can go to the USC Games website and download what I'm about to play. And you can also just stay tuned in here and watch us play. Here it is. Oh, yes. USC Cinematic Arts. USC Thornton School of Music. USC Games. There it is. A Pooper Scoopers production. <sighs> Now, just so you know, audio levels will be around a little bit. If things are a little loud or a little quiet, feel free to yell at me loudly. There is no activity a streamer loves more than adjusting audio during a live broadcast. Now, let's do something that, you know, sometimes takes a while with other games. Let's look at the, let's look at the, let's look at the credits. There it is. Done. A single page of credits. As you might have imagined, this game is made for phone. I'm playing it on PC because I don't own a phone. It's just a little too complicated for me. I'm just kidding. We have phones. All right. We're going to play this game all the way through to the end. <laughs> 
And I'm going to turn down this wonderful music, this cheerful music, just a pinch. I'm going to hop right into it. Act 1. Curiosity leads us to play. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Boom. Oh my god, what do you think is inside the box? Oh. Okay, I am a sucker for all these little bits of extra noises. I'm clicking this, clicking the box, I'm moving through. Uh-oh. Oh my god! Oh man. Oh my god, come on out, come on out, little guy. Oh! Oh, oh, you ever played this game with your pet? This is how my cats actually stare at me. They find something to hide behind and then they stare at me with their little ears up like they're Batman. All right, come on out, little guy. Oh, oh, I have to hold it at the top. Okay, and on to the next. All right, here we go. Oh my God, look at his little walk. Oh my god, look at the little walk. You know, something that I really appreciate about the way that this is done visually, um, you know, at, at, at the USC Games program, there's a lot of conversation about how to think about the scope of what you're trying to do with the resources you have available. I personally proposed projects that were way too ambitious for even a 200-person team to finish. But my god, I was a first-year student and I had ideas. <laughs> and so, there's this very hand-drawn style. And you actually see the little dog on what looks like a physical sheet of paper. You know, isn't that just like a little clever way to just have that charm in there to make it look physical and make it look really deliberate? Here's Sadie. Oh, do I have to go here? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, like failing at bringing the dog from left to right. Oh. Oh my gosh. These, these, this poor family needs to get better deodorant. All right, let's. Oh my. Oh. Oh my God. He's so happy. Oh, oh my god. Okay, uh, I actually think this is so clever because if you've never had a pet, it's very important you let your furry little animal smell various things. Like my cats, anytime I'm drinking out of this mug, the cat goes, what's in there? And I'm like, you won't believe it. Still ice water. Look at all the various smells we have. Oh, oh, what, what happens? Oh, oh, I tore it open, yeah! Oh. No wonder they do all this. This is riveting. Oh. 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 Uh. Guys, if you cannot make eye contact with me right now, I'm a little self conscious. Let me. And the deed is done. How have you been? You don't go into the bathroom? Oh, oh yeah, kisses. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, little interactables. Yeah, 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 yeah. Act two, sometimes people don't want to play. In traditional screenwriting, this is the inciting incident. This is where we are sent upon our journey as an agent of the impossible mission force. Okay, we're just a dog. Get up. Get up. Yeah. Awaken. Awaken. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a good job being a human. Oh, oh, this is mine now. This is mine now. This is mine now. No, what the? What are you doing, Sean? God, oh my, oh. My very smelly, loving owner is just devastated with me. Oh my god, look how big Sadie is. Can I keep eating it? I want to be a good dog so bad. Is this game going to make me cry? 
Am I gonna have to cry on air? Oh, Ghost Star says you had two options? Uh, I'm exactly like the dog. I saw the chicken and I'm like, all right, I'm all in. Let me out. No, let me out. Oh. Okay, this is a shoot. No, 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 I'm not. I'm gonna be a good dog, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. The absolute perfect psychological conditioning test placed before me. I am a good dog. Oh my gosh. Someone's having a tough day. Oh my god, this poor person. Listen, I, your teammates in whatever multiplayer game you're playing will be better next time. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Everything's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm a good dog. Act 3. But no matter what, we'll always have each other. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, do I wanna do I wanna make a noise? Or do I wanna okay, no kisses. Is kisses the answer? Oh my god, hello sweetheart. Oh my god, we, we have our own we have another participant who wants to join in on the USC Games Expo. It's Sheriff the Cat. Alright, if you wanna come up, feel free to at any time. We're such a good dog, yeah. I'm not gonna bark. I'm scared. Do 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 hello. Hello, hello. Oh my god. Sideways Thoughts says Day9 is a dog person now. Yeah, I love little animals so much. Anytime there is any little animal in front of me, I'm like, this is my favorite collection of atoms right now. Yeah. Oh my god, look, that was just all... All I did from start to finish was try to be a good dog. That's it. Oh, that's so wonderful. And you know, one thing that I love so much about a lot of the games uh, that are at the USC Games Expo, a lot of the games that come out of the, uh, just the USC Games programs, there's an opportunity to explore various types of experiences that you often really don't see in many release products. Like, this is, this is wonderful, and this is almost like a, a solid proof of concept of just how nice it is to see that experience, like this little arc. I don't need an ELO. There doesn't need to be ranked matchmaking for Sadie the dog. Look, I just want to just, just want to make my little buddies happy. All right, Sadie's tail, guys. A plus, A plus. I don't know if you know this, but USC Games program gave me the opportunity to give all of you A pluses if I deemed so. And I want to let you know, if any of you don't get A pluses. Give me a ring. Give me, we'll, we'll change that right away. We'll take care of that. Oh, my poor little cat wants to go on a walk after this. And after playing Sadie's Tale, we might just have to go do it. Don't worry. I'll finish the stream. I'll finish the stream, guys. Don't worry about it. All right. It's now time for our second game. It's called Monster Coffee Shop. We're going to open this trailer. We're going to transition over to this. Bam. Oh, yeah. Monster Coffee Shop. Run a quaint coffee shop. Oh, yes. Ice latte. Oh, look at this. Oh, look. Make and serve drinks. It's time to put on plaid suspenders, thick glasses, a beanie. I'm ready to be a barista. There you go, guys. Get to know your customers. Chill out, grab a cup of coffee. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, you dislike this. Oh, this is an interesting coffee shop. They show up and say, I want some coffee. And then I just give them something. <laughs> no, you're going to have a macchiato. The ice is quite nice. My name is Mochi. What kind of things do you do in this shop? Yeah. into this. Oh, I accidentally had the volume two and a half times as loud as I intended to, but that's okay because it was two and a half times as important to me that you heard that song. Let's hop into Monster Coffee Shop. This is perfect. Oh, I'll enter. Hit the two button. Boom. Who's ready? 
tap to start. Opening day of Monster Coffee Shop. Today is opening day of Monster Coffee Shop. A safe space for all troubled creatures. Hmm. I want this to be a haven where we can all relax finally. Time to take a break from stressful life. Brew some drinks and make some friends. Oh, our wonderful co-host of the Mostly Walking Show here on Day 9 TV. My dear friend Sean Bloom, also a professor at USC. Hopping on in. At the USC Games Program specifically is hopping in, giving some links to some of the games we're playing up on here. Okay, so let's see. If I go, coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah, okay, so these little floaters are our reagents. Nice and simple like the old days. Okay, you know what? Here you go, little guy. Do you drag it to the table? Oh my god, I want you to have the coffee. Do I drag it to you? Let's talk to you first. A happy and carefree spirit from the sweetened marshlands. Its body is made of sticky white mochi, and it's a miracle that it is even alive. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's what's your name? Mochi. My name is Mochi. We name ourselves after our constituted materials. What kinds of things do you do in the shop? We can talk and drink delicious drinks and have fun. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. What kind of drinks do you like? Mochi likes sweet things. Bitter is bad. Ooh, close calls. I'll try my best. You got it. Okay. Wait. Sugar? Coffee? Oh my god, he's gone. He left. Okay, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the options. Get out of here. Talk to the dragon. Kira, an icy serpentine creature from the dragon lands that grows ice crystals on its back. Despite his resemblance to a dragon, he is not one, but dreams of becoming one someday. I believe in you, Kira. It's getting much too warm for my comfort. Oh, these people are coming to and fro. Okay, guys, sweet things for this little guy. Most of my body is made of ice, in case you can't tell. Uh, I can give you some cold drinks if you'd like. Do as you wish. All right, very stoic. Okay, wait. Sweet things and iced coffee. Chilled coffee for the cold hearted. Okay. Wait, where, where is... Oh, I was doing ice. I thought those were cubes of sugar. Oh my gosh, wait here. Iced coffee. Here you go, man. How do I drag this onto here? Ah, oh, no. No, wait. I need to drag this onto the... Do I drag it onto the person? There it is. I have to throw it right into their face like a completely amazing server. I don't think I have any sugar yet. Let's talk to this lady. Oh, are, this is milk. Okay. An elf from a distant location, hidden in the depths of the mystic forest. She seems to desire peace more than anything, and yet life doesn't let her. I kind of like a bit that the nice, chill, lo-fi tunes help calm you down. Because part of me, anytime I'm playing a game, I'm like, I can solve this by playing faster. opened the shop recently. Oh, I see. I saw a poster promising this place to be a safe haven for any and all monsters. You got it. I'll eat anything. Oh, there's a little guy there. I see. Life has been quite hectic lately. I figured I might as well check this place out. Actually, I'm curious about your so-called coffee. Could I try some of it? Of course. Coming right up. Thank you. Yes, yes, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. This, this is our little sweetheart who likes to come up, hang out, sometimes rest on the shoulder. Okay, this one wants sweet things. If I do milk, a cafe latte, okay, do you do you want? Okay, you, I'm gonna give you a coffee. I'm gonna give you this latte. Nice, oh my gosh, I'm really getting the hang of this. What about ice milk and coffee and ice latte? Seems more complex than it really is. Sick. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna make some extra just in case. Everyone's happy, no one needs anything. Do I just keep pumping you full of coffee, man? Yeah. Oh. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Bing, bing. Holy crap. Ice latte. Coffee latte. Okay, so I wonder what happens when I... Oh, I see. If I, if I probably go coffee, coffee, coffee... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it doesn't matter the number that I have. It's just, do the ingredients exist at all? Oh my gosh, there's so many customers. Loves this, loves this. Doesn't like, ah. Uh, past conversations made of ice. Good. Reminds me of my notes I had for all of my friends. Okay, so how do I close this? Right down there. Okay, 
so let's make something with milk and ice and right, you want coffee excuse me out of the way there's no points there's no a milkshake a milkshake this this is good for a sean plot should one of those show up here you go little guy loving it so there's no points there's not this unnecessary grind see what i did there that's a coffee based pun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's right you only get that here at day night tv huh <laughs> it's not focused on trying to build a score as fast as you can and grow and grow and grow it really is just like get to know your customers so i actually have not served our friend verde a lot of different things This guy just doesn't like coffee, huh? Do you hate this? You like that? Oh, I bounced all the way here. Nice. I'm gonna get milk, milk, milk coming up for those coffee customers that love a glass of warm milk, such as in the Korean drama with Ryan Gold, who only, only gets nice, delicious cups of milk. It's a very narrow reference for any of our K-drama fans out there. All right, I'm waiting. Milk. Milk. Classic drink for the young at heart. What about you? You like this? It's okay. It's okay. I don't know if anyone has ever been supremely excited about a glass of milk, but I'm sure we'll find one. All right. Uh, what about ice, ice, ice? Is it just, is it just a bunch of ice? of this coffee shop. The fact that if you ever want to make something, you wait until the ingredients float through the air to pull it out. Artistic Argonaut says, I love milk, with love in all caps. Ice, a drink nearing absolute zero temperatures. Perfect. Milk, milk, milk. So we have a glass of warm milk ready at any point. Let's get our milkshake produced. I wonder if there's a way to, like, grow the customer base. Do you like milk? You don't? What about, what about just a, what about just a collection of ice? Oh, yeah, tell me, what's up? Mochi is on a mission. What is it? Mochi wants to find Mochi's friends. Mochi hasn't seen friends in a long time. Oh my god, you poor thing, Mochi. <laughs> we all know how you feel. Tell me, what do you want, Mochi? Hope they are okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your friends are just busy. So Mochi gonna look for friends all over continent. Good luck on your mission. Mochi will try best. You know what? You might want... Let's get you something sweet, guy. There you go. What about this ice? The dragon made of ice. He loves it. He's into it. Here, have this. You getting the hang of this? Bye, everyone. A, a quick inquiry from our dear man, Sean Bloom. Is this a continuous gameplay sort of game? Oh, wait, hold on. Sean, don't speak to me at all. I have tea. Coffee, coffee, and tea. Strange gloop. A tragic mix of inharmonious ingredients. Here you go. Uh-oh. Tea. What about tea, ice, and coffee? Here, do you want? Do you want this? Okay, I'm. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't. I don't know. It's a strange gloop. It's a strange gloop. I'm doing my best. Oops. All right. Coffee. Coffee. Here, have the milkshake. Here you go. Have this. Ooh. I need these tea bags coming back. Now uh, we can see that the ingredients are growing. Our customers, we're starting to get a better sense of. Uh, in particular, I'm seeing a lot of what people don't like. <laughs> and I mean, given that th this implies that there's five pages of recipes and strange gloop. I'm waiting for my tea. Never tea plus coffee. Also never coffee plus salt. I've made that mistake once. 
Normally when I make mistakes, I actually make a career out of making mistakes more than once. But really, uh, the, the salt and coffee one is something that I will never ever revisit again. Have a coffee, there you go. Let's get you some ice, having a good time. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be continuing to play Monster Coffee for about another five minutes. And I wanted to note that all of these games you can get at uscgamesexpo.com. While I'm waiting for my tea, I am an alum of the USC Games Program, AMA, about USC. I don't want anyone being like, Sean, do you like cheesecake? I do, but that's not the time or place to go into that. All right, two teas and an ice. Oh wait, two teas and milk? Hot milk tea. Milk tea, but hot. Uh, does, does our little guy like milk tea? Oh, you don't? What? What? USC Games Expo. All right, let's get that guy back. And uh, also, in the in the backstage, if any of our wonderful operators want to paste any questions from the USC Games channel over to here, that'd be great as well. Let's do tea, milk. No, let's just do tea, tea, and ice. Ice tea. Ice tea. Ice tea. Here, hit me with them. So iced tea, who do we want to give the iced tea here? You, you take this, you love it. What you got going on, Kira? Ice is very nice. Everything is better once iced. True, true. If you think it is too warm here, why do you keep coming back? I have my reasons. You wouldn't understand the struggles of someone that was born in the wrong room of society in the wrong body. Oh my God, poor Kira. Not only is life cruel enough to give me a body weak to nearly every element, but I'm also doomed to be shunned and belittled by all draconic creatures in my homeland. I have to be real with you, man. I am so glad someone finally said it. Ice is the absolute bottom tier element, bar none. Ice loses to fire and to earth, and frankly, wind is gonna rattle the icy bones and make them crack off, man. Ugh. Sean Bloom says, from Afro Penguin, why are the USC alumni so awesome? Well, it is because when we enter into the USC Games program, we are these irredeemable jumbles of nonsense that get crafted into the beautiful diamonds you see before you today thanks to the USC games program did you want did you want a different answer honestly I, I think that one of the big benefits of the USC games programs um, and it's USC games but it's also like interactive media broadly there's just so many people that have really rich and differing interests I was really interested in competitive gaming and esports um, there were people in the program that were really interested in just physical interfaces you know like like VR and AR are examples of that but also um, you, you know like Minority Report how Tom Cruise like, moves things around with his hand you know, like that's a different type of control interface like that there were people who were interested in interactive spaces like what you'd see at an amusement park and it's the fact that there's all these people that are we're going through sort of the same curriculum but the goal of the curriculum is to allow you the student with your interests to have not just the time to work on your projects but for the coursework to support that and for the professors who also have a really extensive range of experience in different fields for them to be able to contribute to that so i i, I kind of think that every person that i've really met if you get the chance to talk to them you'll find that they have some really deep, rich, and fascinating interest to them. And it's really about the opportunity to pursue and explore that with support. And that, that I think, is one of the reasons why a lot of the USC Games people are so, so fantastic. Um, I don't even remember the question. I'm not even going to look at the question. I'm just going to say, is that so? Then it makes two of us. No, no, I'm going to say, I think you're great the way you are. Hmm, I cannot say I stand being in a sorry state. As the saying goes, even a helpless coy can one day become a dragon through hard work. I hope you reach your dreams. Regardless of what others may call you, I am determined to find a way. Um, I don't know if I've had any new customers. We got, oh, okay. You know what? We, we've done this for five minutes. I'm going to stop because there are still two more games to cover at this USC Games Expo. Hour number 3.5. It's a very bold thing that I did there. Doing small number arithmetic live on stream. But it's something I'm capable of. Ugh. 
we're going to go ahead and check out the next game again. Once the one we just finished was called Monster Coffee Shop. If you go to the USC Games Expo website, you can actually see Monster Coffee Shop. Ugh. Probably if you load more. <laughs> Look, it's here. It's here. I bet you if you load more, it'll happen. The next game that we're going to be playing, um, oh gosh, I hope I don't pronounce this incorrectly. It's Arigato Ningen-san. We're hoping, we're hoping. Let's go ahead and hop into the trailer. Let's go ahead and adjust the volume of the trailer like an adult would and check it out. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I'm trying my best. Move into your home. Good. Meet your neighbors. Oh, oh, look at the little baby cat. Hi there, you must be Ningen-san. My name is Neko-chan. My favorite thing to do is knead. Please knead me like dough. Squish your way into their hearts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that pliable cat. And bring joy to the neighborhood. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Available soon for iOS, PC, and Mac. And in fact, you can go to the... You can go to the USC Games Expo website. You can get it. You can get it. I'm not lying to you. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this darling game. Hop on in. Whoosh. Now, uh, one of the things is that this is designed for touch controls, but I can use the control key on my keyboard to sort of get the sense of pinching and opening. Let's go ahead and let's check out the credits. Look at this. Three people done, over, and that's it. The demo version of the game. Some features are incomplete. Don't you worry. I'm proud of you guys for having submitted a final project, man. I don't know how many people here who are watching live have had the experience of having an end of year project that you both care a lot about because you have invested a lot of your time and a lot of your emotion into it. But then when there's that, like, the date just keeps coming closer and the date, it doesn't change, right? The streams were happening today. To be able to get that in in time and, oh, oh, so fantastic. A pluses for all of you. A plus for Monster Coffee Shop. The jury's still out. Oh, it's the bird of the day. Welcome to the neighborhood, Ninjansan. My name is Tori-san. I've come to ask you for help. The animals in our town are in need of love and attention. Oh yeah, you came to the right human being. Please seek them out and offer your assistance. I will be here if you need help finding anyone. Now, go forth. All right, so on the screen, I'm gonna spam click around. I always wanna see, oh, oh. I think I remember seeing Neko-chan walking the streets. She is the least shy of them all. It is time to the street. All right, so I can click and drag and move the screen around. Just go ahead and drag. Do we see a little kitten? Oh my God, oh. Oh my God, look at that little cat. Oh my god, look at how he walks. It's so cute. Hello. Meow, meow. Hi there, you must be Ningen-san. My name is Neko-chan. My favorite thing is to need. Oh my god, I love little animals so much. Listen to that. Oh, you want to be kneaded like bread? Oh, yes. Oh, let's grab by the tail. What happens? Uh, uh. What if I pull side to side? Oh, I can grab the face. Look at this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I can stretch him. I can pinch him. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my god. What an act of brilliance. Looking at the games market and saying, there's not enough games that treat animals as though they are pliable clay. Oh, you see the background, it's turning more gray. Oh no, things are looking sad, don't worry. I'm gonna, oh yeah, there you go, you love that. Oh, you're such a happy cat, you're such a good baby cat. All right, let's pinch, let's use the pinch and zoom. There you go. Oh, and on the tail, squish you up and down, make your tail long. Yeah. How is this even possible? I know, right? Like this all seems to be hand created. 
like all d different individual hand frames. Like, look at this. There you go. Right on the cheek. This way. This way. This way. Oh, look. Look, the background is turning more and more bright and happy. Luminescent says, I'll be doing this to my cat later. Absolutely. This this makes me want to go check on my little baby girls after this. Wow, I feel so soft and comfy. You enjoyed that. You enjoyed that. You're a very robust little creature. Arigato, Ningen-san. Ah, yes. And I was informed by Sean Bloom that Ningen-san means dear human. Oh, yes. If you need me, I will always be at your doorstep. Alright, let's keep on going. Let's hunt for other little animals. Let's go to the park. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a little bunny wabbit. Wah. Wah, wah. Dot, dot, dot. Which in Japanese translates to dot, dot, dot. Um, hello. I suppose you are the new resident. My name is Usagi-san. Ah. <sighs> Do you not like this? Okay. Oh, th like this? You like being rocked back and forth? Just this. <laughs> yeah, let's just rock you like a baby. Let's rock you. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, you're such a good cat. Let's let's deform this baby cat. Oh, you're so. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna rock this back and forth. Let's see if I can speed run. Can you put a speed limit on love? I don't think so. I love this rabbit at 100 miles an hour. Can I, can I like squish? Do you not like squishing? Oh, okay, I was told that some of the art assets for some of the positions, when some of them didn't arrive, it instead transforms into a cat. So we can just... Uh, uh, Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes. Neko-chan is within all of us. Neko-chan is within all of, all of us at all points in time. Okay, I just gotta keep rocking the bunny. Just gotta keep smashing. There you go. Oh, I love you so much. You're such a good cat. You might say it's a bunny. You're mistaken. All right, let me... <laughs> let me keep vigorously rolling the bunny. Does the animal like that? Absolutely, Bronze. Look in the background. You see these hearts? These are not thumbs down. Oh, it's just such a good, happy cat. There you go. You're doing a good job being a cat that has little rabbity features. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're really so happy. Oh. Oh, back. Oh, look at these. Look at these frames. Oh. Oh. Look at the, look at the little eyes shut. Just so happy. Oh. Okay. Wow. I feel so soft and comfy. Arigato, Ningen-san. If you need me, I will always be at your doorstep. I'm going to go vigorously adore one more animal. Because we have about 15 minutes left in this segment. Uh, at which point I will direct everyone over to the USC Games channel. Because guess what? There is yet more broadcasting happening on this fine exposition day. Oh, hey guys. Do you need help? I think Hebi-san and Usagi-san live in the park. They both like to keep for themselves. Wait, hold on. Okay, I, I, I've now collected two animals. Ugh. Ah, go to the park. Oh, okay, okay. I just wasn't clicking properly. Okay, there's no one here. There's no one here in the park. Oh! Hello? Hello? Hello, were you looking for me? Oh, you could help tongues hanging out. You gotta be careful with that. Wow, 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 my name is Inuchan. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, what do you like? Do you need to be... Oh, there you go. You need to be pinched. You don't need to be rolled. You need to just be squeezed. Love you. I love you so much. I love you. Lo I've just met you, but I love you. Now, if you think I'm exaggerating, if I ever see a dog in real life, the very second I have met that dog, I love that dog. And so we're just going to give a little... Oh, stretch him out. He likes being stretched. He likes being squeezed. What if we squeeze the other direction? Oh, tummy time! 
Oh, very postmodern dog. Oh, this is. How do you come up with this idea? This is fantastic. Squishies. Squishies, I love you. I'm gonna squeeze you. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to go download all these other games. This was always a wonderful part of every year, was getting to look at the games expos. And just. You just get so many ideas when you play these. These. I, I almost imagine it was like delicious little macaroons, you know? You know how with macaroons, if you eat one macaroon, you're never like, I think I'm good. I think I'm out of, I, I think I'm out of yearn for consuming every macaroon that I see. No, typically I eat a box or two. Um, that's what it, that's what it feels like at the Games Expo, right? You just, you just want to keep, you just want to keep popping another one in. Become, become the happiest dog there is. Look at that. I feel so soft and comfy. Arigato Ningen-san. If you need me, I will always be at your doorstep. Back. Back, I say. Now, I'm going to... Oh, oh T-Pole says, check the grass in the park. You got it, T-Pole. We are not yet done. And that's all. <laughs> I think you wanted me to check. I think that it's not the case that there was something hidden there. I mean, look at this. Grass goes down. Grass comes back up. That's your Easter egg. As we will say a million times, if you want to download any of these games, such as Arigato Ningen San, which is almost certainly... There it is. It's on the USC Games website. Again, uscgamesexpo.com slash games. If you click home, you'll see me. So just go ahead and click Expo Games to see the games. We have one more game we're going to be taking a look at. The final one from this segment. It's called Rescue. And we're going to fire up a trailer real fast. We're going to crank down the volume to a level that is reasonable for ears. Open. Hit the button. Hit the space bar. Tokyo University of the Arts. Rescue. Oh, look at the little squirrels. Look, they're having a good day at the beach. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's horrible. It's horrible. Look out. No, run. Oh, my God. These poor little squirleronies. Get out of there. Everybody's running. But the gr the ground is made out of trampoline. Hang on, little guys. Is that is that us? Risu is squirrel in Japanese. So is it Risu to the rescue? <gasps> For the next tsunami. Me, not get spit out into the hole ah yes save the fellow squirrels so i have to eat the nuts i have to vomit the nuts out accurately to create saving poles of tree trunks you got it you got it i'm ready i'm ready i have trained for this my whole life all right rescue do you want do you want this all right, let's play it. Let's open it. Let's go into it. Yes. Look at me go. I'm going to turn down the volume. I'm turning down the volume on this. I'm turning down the volume on this. Hopefully the balancing is okay once again. There is nothing a streamer loves more than adjusting audio levels. It just makes me feel good. All right, it's time. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Oh my God, I literally did the wrong thing. Okay, so now I, I need to jump and puke, puke. Oh, I only got one, I fell into the hole. Come on, go, jump, jump, spit. All right, it, it's these double ones that come up. It's like an infinite squirrel tree growing runner. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're getting more, we're getting more. All right. 
All right, I think I did okay. Am I climbing to the next level? Score 11. Now, the thing is, it's not out of anything. And as far as I can tell, this is a world record. No one has ever gotten this high a score on Rescue, and honestly, I'm ready to submit to Twin Galaxies. I think we did a good job. Next stage. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god, I didn't see that. I didn't see that there. Oh, I, st I still have a nut. Oh, oh my god, this level is way harder. No one's ever made it to level two before. There's hidden, there's hidden holes. I have to jump over them. I'm literally hitting every single hole. Every oh gosh, I hope the developers aren't too embarrassed watching me do this. Okay. Get these nuts. Oh my gosh, my accuracy is appalling. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. I really, I think I let the entire squirrel community down. But I have great news. Another world record, 16. No one's ever gotten that high of a score before. Don't ask the developers. Please don't. Please don't ask them what their scores were. This is the highest score that anyone's ever seen. You know, it's kind of funny. Th this kind of game is actually right up my alley. I 100... Oh, sorry. It blew a whistle at me and I, I thought I had to do something. This is exactly the kind of game that is up my alley. You know, the, the, the one where you have to react quickly. Okay, this is going to be it. Oh, God, I hit the wrong buttons. Oh, oh, it's W for jump and it's space bar. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, I did one thing right today. I am going to miss every single. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are there difficulty levels on this game? Can we set it to casual? Is there a filthy casual? I'm an adult. All right. Now, we're going to do one more level of rescue. One more level. Want more info? Score 98. Were the scores in this game out of 100? <laughs> were the scores in this game out of 100? Were the Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna do one more stage. I'm suddenly getting a little self-conscious. Jump! Oh, no, I keep... Ugh! Uh, ugh! I'm such a bad squirrel. Nailed. Yes! Kind of. I have so many nuts. Space. Space. Alright, I, I, we're two-handing this. We're two-handing it. We're two-handing it. So much better. And our score is... Eleven. That's the first score I ever got. Don't make me play again. No, 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 I'm... I'm on camera. Careful, Risky. Whew! That was a close one. Well, that's going to conclude my playing of some of the games from the USC Games Expo. As you once again see on the website, there is a huge number of them and more lurking behind the load more button. And if you're looking to break some rescue world records, I've been training for a long time. If any of you have any other questions, I'd be delighted to answer. Maybe just one or two questions. At 625, we're going to be closing out within the next five minutes. So I'd be happy to hear about it. Once again, I attended the USC Games program um, in 2008 to 2011. I did my undergraduate degree in math, and then I transitioned over to USC um, for grad school. And I remember it was a really kind of funny experience in transitioning from, you know, that technical program to a creative program. One of the big lessons I, I learned when I got there is the importance of determining your own projects and kind of finding your own voice and the coursework, as we are talking about earlier, is there to really support you, helping you figure out not just how to execute upon a lot of your areas of interest, but to introduce you to different areas, to give you a lot of new ideas. And it was, it was just so awesome to get the opportunity to meet all these amazing students who are there. There are 10 in my class. 
and all the great professors. Grand Admiral Tarkin says, did you have a good advisor for the grad program at USC? I find a good advisor to be super important. It's, it, it's hard for me to say this one person was my advisor because the faculty I found to be really accessible. Um, anytime I had any questions and wanted any help, they helped. It was, it was wonderful. Um, and that's, that's one of the experiences that I really liked quite a lot. Uh, Zappa Bad says, many projects seem to have more than a single developer. Is there any platform where developers can interact and collaborate in this program? Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of different, um, I'm going to call it templates to fit into. There are courses where, as part of the coursework, you are going to collaborate with the School of Music. So that the uh, Thornton School of Music can provide music tracks for your game. There are classes where the point is to collaborate with the classmates in that class to develop the game. There are courses where the purpose is to connect people from different disciplines into the class and a lot of the work is intended to be outside of class. There's also a whole lot of opportunities to uh, form your own projects and get support and in fact uh, something that I did a lot in my second year there was that I would come up with a project and uh, work on it. I remember Daniel Bonse, who was one of the alum there, who's totally awesome. Um, Daniel and I were working on a game project together, and the professors worked with us to make some of the coursework incorporate that game project. So a lot of times at USC, they'd be like, okay, for next week, we want you to do a project that does the following, and then you'd have that week to do it. And we would go to the professor and be like, hey, this thing that might be trying different art styles or different UX UI for a game, Instead of us just doing this in isolation, could we try to do this for our game? And the professor would actually talk to us, recustomize the assignment for what we were wanting to do, and then that's that would be what we were doing. It, it was it was so great. Like the collaboration is a huge, huge, huge part of the program. And um, even though I'm signing off right now, if any of you uh, are interested in any other questions about USC, you can go to my Twitter and there's an email address right there. Uh, it's Sean at Day Nine TV. It's me at me.tv. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions, and I know the USC folks uh, would be happy to answer any of yours as well. So I hope I hope none of you USC faculty or students mind that I signed you up for some work. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They'll take care of you. Here's their contact information. Uh, and so with that, I'm going to be closing out this uh, segment here. The thing I'm really excited about is that it's the Laser Corn Show is going to be doing the next hour, and it's going to be reviewing the Master of Fine Arts thesis project. Every master's student has an end of program project. And I'm, I'm going to tune into that. I'm going to tune into that. I can't wait to, to check it out. And with that, I'm going to just disappear. I'm going to disappear. Thank you so much again, USC, for uh, sponsoring this segment, as, you, as I'm sure none of you are surprised about, but also for being a wonderful program that was an important part of my life. Uh, much love, and congrats to all you students for getting to the finish line. <laughs>